Today I want to show you how easy it is to upgrade your vector pedal set to Vector 2 with the Vector 1 to Vector 2 upgrade kit. The upgrade kits are available at buy.garmin.com and include the following. Two Vector 2 pedal pods, two blue Vector 2 upgrade washers, as well as four stainless steel spacing washers, a 2.5 millimeter hex key with pod screws, and upgrade kit instructions. Before we start, it might be useful to go through all the necessary tools. You will need a torque wrench capable of measuring 25 foot-pounds, a standard pedal wrench, a 15 millimeter crow foot adapter for your torque wrench, and clean shop rags or paper towels. Now to begin, first remove your vector pedals either with a torque wrench and adapter or a standard pedal wrench. Using a clean rag or paper towel, Carefully clean off the pedal thread and spindle shoulder. Ensure they are clean and free of burrs or debris. Similarly, clean and inspect the face of your crank arms where the pedals thread in. Now, take a blue upgrade washer, place it on the step on the spindle shoulder, and thread the pedal onto the crank. If you were using a spacing washer with your vector installation previously, you can also include up to two of those on each side between the blue washer and the crank arm. It's important to note that the blue washer goes on the pedal first. The gray spacing washers sit between the blue washer and the crank arm. Tighten the pedal all the way into the crank arm, then torque your vector pedals to 25 to 30 foot-pounds. Next, with your crank arm forward, place the Vector 2 pod around the shoulder of the spindle and tighten the pod screw with the hex key. Plug in your pod and repeat these steps on the other side. For the right side, it's important to check your chain line before heading out to ride. Shift your bike into the big chain ring and the smallest cog in the back. Now, line up the pedal pod cable with the chain. You want to see at least 2 millimeters of clearance on both the top and bottom length of the chain. If the pod cable is hitting the chain or has less than 2 millimeters of clearance, you can use up to two spacing washers to improve the clearance. Now, spin the crank arms a couple of rotations to ensure the system is awake and pair your new Vector 2 pedals with your display unit. After setting the install angle, crank length and doing a quick calibration, you'll be out on the road riding with power and cycling dynamics.